I will be unselfish as Jesus in me is unselfish. I will be humble as Jesus in me is humble. Mamsel told me that perfection of character, humble, humbleness, and other uh, and humble humbleness and humility and perfection of character are actually uh, we don't uh, really focus or sometimes uh, preach that uh, uh, words. So right now. I will be humble as Jesus in me is humble. I pray to God that I really want to attain the humbleness and humility of Christ. Amen? I will be zealous as Jesus in me is zealous. And perfection, number two. Perfection, transformation of character grows out of a personal love relationship with Jesus, our Savior and best friend. Our Savior and best friend. Wow. The love of God, the agape love, the unfathomable love, the unconditional love, the sacrificial love, and the agape love. That is the love of God because He gave His life to us. He gave his he gave his son to die for us. And if Jesus in our hearts in Galatians chapter 2 verse 20, I am crucified with Christ therefore I no longer live Jesus Christ live in me. We can possibly attain the humbleness and humility of Jesus Christ if we pray enough for the Holy Spirit to empower our hearts and our minds. Loving Jesus then leads to pleasing and honoring Him. By shunning sin and seeking to become like Him, to become like Him, this is in turn leads to perfection. This is in turn, it leads to perfection in loving Christ. Perfection, relationship out of which perfection grows is also a relationship of of admiration if we admire Christ it leads us to perfection if we admire Jesus Christ it will lead us into perfection by beholding we become changed from glory to glory character to character Perfection grows out of administration because administration of His wonderful character leads us to want to be like Him. And this desire leads us to pattern our lives after His wonderful life, which in turn molds us into His likeness. Then, perfection also grows out of our relationship of gratitude number four ag, ag, uh, grows out of a relationship of gratitude a personal relationship with God begets a heartfelt response of gratitude which leads to reciprocation which leads to the desire to please him by becoming like him which leads to perfection we always give thanks to God and that is our gratitude to give our our thanksgiving our supplication and our prayer it leads to perfection this wonderful relationship with god out of which perfection of character grows is also a relationship of respect in the revelation chapter 14 verse 7 fear god and give glory to him for the hour of judgment has come the fear in Greek word, we'll go back to uh, Greek language. Fear means phobeiomai, which means to give respect to him or to give reverence to him or to come closer to him. That is fear. Respect. It leads us into perfection. It leads us into perfection. Perfection grows out of a relationship of a knowledge of the truth. 
of the knowledge of the truth. Truth is not something apart from God. God is the truth. God is the, uh, the truth and the life. It is the knowledge of the truth about God which sanctifies us. And be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So, how can we renew our mind? How can we renew our mind? By what? By reading our Bible. By reading the spirit of prophecy. By seeking the truth or digging the scripture. And it leads us to perfection. Perfection of character grows out of our relationship of faith in God. Faith is the character of Christ imparted to us. Faith by righteousness by faith is a principle of life that transforms the character and controls the conduct. Enables us to live his life. Enables us to live his life. What is faith? Is faith merely belief? Is faith a mere intellectual assent to the truth? No, faith is belief plus surrender belief plus obedience. True faith will always lead its processor to a willing, glad-hearted obedience to all of God's commandments as soon as he learns of them. Perfection of character grows out of a, a personal relationship with the Holy Spirit. Did you try to pray for the outpour, outpouring of the early rain? We always pray for the latter rain, but we don't even pray for the early rain. We need to pray for the Holy Spirit, for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. And we need a relationship with the Holy Spirit that leads us to perfection. Resolve, determination, self-denial, human effort, a multiplication of good works, apart from God, avail nothing. All of the above eight points are the result of the work of the Holy Spirit upon the heart. These are all the work of the Holy Spirit. All the eight points, converted love, administration, Gratitude, respect, knowledge, faith of God, in God, the Holy Spirit, Christ-likeness, and service. This is the result of the Holy Spirit. A Christ-like character is not the fruit of the Christian. A Christ-like character is the fruit of the indwelling Spirit. Without Christ, we can do nothing virtuous. We can do nothing Christ dwell in our hearts by the Holy Spirit. Without the Holy Spirit, all that a man does is cold, loveless, self-centered, formal, hypocritical, legalistic, and sinful. Without the Holy Spirit, we are complacent. Without the Holy Spirit, sometimes we are compromised. Without the Holy Spirit, sometimes we are inactively or we don't ha uh, we don't have an uh, enthusiastically uh, inactive perfection of character therefore is the fruit of the holy spirit not of man that's why we need to attain or strive the perfection of character every single day the Holy Spirit is the agent in all of this glorious relationship, transformation, and perfection of character. It is the Holy Spirit which makes us partakers of the divine nature and gives us complete and broken victory over sin. He can separate us over sin. Christ has given His Spirit as divine power to overcome all hereditary and cultivated tendencies to evil and to impress His own character upon His church. Christ has been looking or longing 
that His character will be in our heart. Perfection of character grows out of our relationship of sharing, of witnessing, of Christian service. There, go you therefore teach to all and to all nations in Matthew chapter sorry Matthew chapter 28 verse 19 to 20 Go therefore and make disciples of the nation baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit when the Bible or the scripture says, Go therefore and make. It means that not only the pastors, not only the missionary, but all of us will share and witness about the character of Christ. The law of self service is the law of self destruction. The soul that refuses to impart will perish. God could have reached His object in saving sinners without our aid, but in order to develop a character like Christ, we must share in His work. We must share. We must share. All of us should share the goodness of our Lord Jesus Christ. We do not receive the Holy Spirit just to sit at home. Or attend church, we receive the Holy Spirit for what? For witnessing. We receive the Holy Spirit for witnessing. And as we witness, we will receive an ever-increasing amount. Wow. Abundant. Ever-increasing amount. We, in as much as it is the Holy Spirit which mellows and perfects, and prepares us for heaven, how important it is that we fulfill the condition and avail ourselves of the provision God has provided for our transformation of character. Try to go for evangelism or voice of youth. Dearly brothers and sisters, students, join the voice of youth. Join evangelism and you will witness and experience Christ. Character building, character building, a work ever entrusted to human being is character building. Godliness and Christ-likeness is the goal to be rich. And one thing that I'm going to give you, to share with you is to work with Him to honor Him and to become like Him is the greatest and the highest ambition in life. To work with Him, to honor Him, and to become like Him is the greatest and highest ambition in life. That is the goal that we need to be rich. One of our lady or Rhea Cruz will sing an appeal song right now. May I ask Rhea Cruz?
church or appealing the church to work and to live like Christ. Brothers, perfection grows out of our relationship with our true conversion. If we are truly converted in Christ, to those who are willing to accept Jesus Christ as personal Savior, may I request you to stand. And to those right now who are, who are not yet accepted Jesus Christ or a box a leaden or right now not truly converted heart may I request you to stand in front and to those who are willing to accept that we can attain or strive the perfection of character may I request you to stand here in front and to those who are willing to go for evangelism and voice of youth. May I request you to stand here and we will pray for you. With the unconverted heart and to the perfection of character that grows out of our relationship and of our hearts to give and we need to give respect to him for the res uh, for gratitude respect and our knowledge and truth if you want this uh, spiritual gift that we have may i request you to stand here in front god is calling you god is 
willing to help you. God is willing to help us. And to those who are uh, struggling or uh, right now, he is struggling in pornography or games or any other things or in sexu uh, sexuality or some of the things that uh, right now he don't confess yet to God. You can pray or stand in your uh, seats or in your bench. Or some people who are uh, really want to know or having a Bible study with us, please, I, have, I am appealing to you to come in front. And we need to pray for you and we need to ask the Holy Spirit to be uh, willing to help you. I request Pastor. I request everyone to please bow your heads. Our loving Father, the giver of life, the giver of everything that we have, we would like to recognize your presence in our midst today. On this blessed Sabbath day, we have heard your message, a calling for perfection, for holiness, for a relationship with you, a growing one. Many of us have been called to offer our lives, to respond to the invitation, to dedicate our lives. And somehow for us, we want to restore our relationship with you. To some of us, we are longing for your guidance. And may your character be reproduced among us. As your people are waiting for your son coming, we are indeed in need of your presence of your power and we would like to thank you for you have brought us to this wonderful light of understanding of who you are and we continually would like to know you more in our lives that as we live day by day we are living a life that is fitted for heaven we would like to entrust you father those brothers and sisters of ours today have stood up and responded to the call, especially those who have stepped forward. All of us, we have our varied needs of your presence in our lives. And so, Father, we would like to humble ourselves. Please, be very close to us. And as we leave from this hall of worship, give us the assurance of the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit that will always abide in our hearts and in our minds. Help us to live a life fully consecrated. Thank you for forgiving us of our sins. Thank you for sending us Jesus Christ. And help us to wait for Him and long for His coming. All these things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless.